All right, so I've been working on this project. I had this idea of making an Arduino keyer. So I have this old ham radio uh, Morse code keyer from Palomar Electronics. It's one that uh, I've had for like 25 years. And it basically stopped working. Well, it was uh, basically just peeing da 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 over and over again. So um, I pulled out the board today, which this was the original one. It was a Curtis 8044 keyer. Um, worked pretty well. This was my main keyer for doing CW. Um, so much to my chagrin, I tore this out today. That was kind of sad, but that's gone. So now I have this empty space here. I've got a very nice body, and I also have this uh, this weighted base that weighs, I don't know, a pound or something that it connects to, that it screws onto. So my idea here is basically if I could convert this and have it run, um, use this uh, Arduino. It's a, a DigiSpark AT Tiny 85. Uh, so I got a few of these for another project, and it was just like, oh, let's see if I can connect that. So I got it wired up. Um, right now, I just have it wired up to one of the potentiometers, and then um, I have a uh, um, over here been working on the uh, this Morse keyer. So originally I was going to do this in Python uh, using MicroPython, uh, but then I found out the HE Tiny 85. It sounds like won't run MicroPython, so I was like, all right, I'll just switch to actually using Arduino. I prefer Python just because it's clean and easy, um, elegant. It's just the Python language. I love it, but. I think for this case, um, I'll see if I can do this in uh, uh, using uh, C++. So, um, so I've written a bunch of the code here, basically just to detect the. Uh, I'll see what I got here so far. So I have my setup. Um, so I just made a. Uh, Compiler directive to use serial, yes or no. So I'm going to use the serial um, so I can output to the serial port basically just to see um, the serial monitor to see what is the, what the potentiometer is, is doing for testing. Um, set my pin mode. So this is basically, a re eventually I'll get this wired up to the actual um, DIT and DOT over here. For the switches, um, so that's the setup, and then in the loop, um, this. So, kind of wrote some pseudo code here to check if the current tone length has elapsed. If not, continue. So, read speed potentiometer. Uh, so, this is what I'm going to test right now is basically to see if the um, see if I can read the uh, the speed here. Basically, get something out of the uh, this and see if uh, if anything happens whenever I power it on and uh, turn the potentiometer. So I'm gonna verify this, uh, and I also have yeah, so just some print statements. Uh, oh yeah, which looks like this. I wasn't totally sure. I know in Python, if I would say if you serial and it's a value of one, it will evaluate true. Uh, not sure in this one. So I've got, I have up here, I said if use serial equals one, then I am starting the serial port. Um, so then basically I don't have that running for later if I want to just turn it off. Uh, should make it a little more efficient. So it's not checking that at runtime. So th this, if you're not familiar with these uh, pound if um, 
statement. So this is basically a compiler directive. So it basically tells the compiler if u serial is equal to one, then it will actually compile this into the code. Um, if u serial is not equal to one, then this actually won't even be compiled. So it won't even start the serial, which means that also down here, it won't even print. So I just got to make sure like this, actually I need to have a if you serial here because if I it would work right now but if I said you serial if I set you serial to zero then it would error at this point because it would be trying to call uh, serial print ln and it wouldn't be there although actually serial might it might not error but just for consistency I will add an end here all right so I'm going to do a verify of this, make sure that will work. Um, and one of the unique things about the AT Tiny, the DigiSpark board, which this one, this is actually not a, uh, so this is not an actual DigiSpark board. It's a clone that I got off of eBay, uh, but works fine. But basically with the, uh, in Arduino, um, in the Arduino IDE, um, it's a little different than normal, so you actually don't need to set the COM port, apparently. Um, you just basically do the upload, so it basically upload, and then it says running upload, Duty Spark uploader, so this is basically after going through a process of, I set the, in the preferences, uh, you do an additional boards manager, uh, set that up, install the DigiSpark um, board manager um, and then it's set up in there and then I basically select and say I'm using the DigiStump AVR board. Um, I just set mine to the default 16.5 megahertz one. Um, so this is there. So now if I plug it in, so I've got my USB cable here it's wrapped around my light. Um, so I'm going to plug this in and we'll see what happens. All right, so you can see over here, it connected, uploaded it. Um, so I set firmware version, cool. So it's got, oop, beep, connection to device lost during your race. Not to worry, this happens on some computers. Reconnecting, reconnecting. Continuing upload sequence, nice. Cool, micronucleus done. Okay, so it appears that it uploaded. So that should be running. So now, in theory, if I turn on the serial monitor, I might get the output, maybe? Or not. I'm not exactly sure how this works because it's not connected to a COM port. It actually might not. Hmm. All right, so it looks like I did get something here, but I'm not sure exactly how the serial monitor works because it doesn't actually show up as a COM port. Uh, if you look in Device Manager, it shows up as the, the DigiSpark. Um, so at least on Windows, if I look at it shows up as this lib USB Win32 USB devices, DigiSpark bootloaded. So, I think, yeah, that's not doing anything at the moment. So, I think what I might do, I might see if I can uh, maybe out, like, like, flash the LED. Um, which there's a built-in LED on these, typically on uh, on pin one or zero, depending on the version of the DigiSpark board you have. But let me give that a try and see see what happens. Um, since it looks like serial print LN isn't working, so I'm going to do some googling and see if that is functional or not. Um, 
and then maybe post another video with the results of what I find. So thanks for watching, and until next time.